بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and throughout the Quran we see that Allah encourages us through hope and he encourages us through fear All right. Allah always gives us what the reward of Jannah and then along the rewards of Jannah you have the punishment of Naab you have Allah's Rahmah mentioned and then you have Allah's Adab mentioned right? So that, that balance is always there and the believer is supposed to have both. Whoever doesn't have both, they have assumed the worst of Allah. They have assumed the worst of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The person who has no hope in Allah, they, they have a, their perception of Allah is that He is a vengeful God without mercy. And so his perception of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is corrupted. Right, and that's why the, the word of the verse says, well, the, only, the only person that has qunut of the rahmah of Allah is the people that are misguided. Those people that, have, that are misguided, meaning that their knowledge of Allah is corrupted, it's not true. And then the other people are those who are ignorant of Allah, and they're also misguided, why? They have extreme hope, because they have no knowledge of Allah's wisdom. Is the mu'min like the, the sinner? If a person says, well, God is going to give everybody Jannah, then Allah is not just, He's not Adil to you, He's not Hakim. What's the point? If everybody is the same, why, 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 do we, why should we work? Why are things haram? Why is there Sharia? Why is there Ibtila? If everybody's going to enter Jannah with Iman and we're all equal, then what's the whole point? Allah is not Hakim. That means all of this is meaningless, right? But if a person says that Allah is, is only going to punish everyone, then Allah is not Rahman, Allah is not Rahim, right? So their Iman is corrupted. Their Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's something wrong with it. If they have too much hope or too much fear. And that's why Imam Nawi rahimahullah here, he shows us that the believer who has true Iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he combines both. He keeps a balance. He or she keeps a balance of hope and fear, or fear and hope, hope and rajah. And so he, Imam Nawi, Rahimallah, he's in this chapter, he ta after speaking about fear and speaking about hope, he says you have to combine the two. If you only have one of the two, or you're extreme to one of the two, then you are misguided, and your iman, there's something wrong with your iman. Your iman of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's something wrong with it, you have to correct it.